All right, let's see if we can flash our nano VNA. We're going to need some uh, software. Um, so I've gone here to the um, to the uh, Google Drive that I've linked to before. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but it is um, available online, probably in multiple places. But uh, there are a couple uh, directories here. Um, we're going to need uh, something from software. Um, we're first going to need, um, um, we are going to need a couple things from here, so we might as well get them. Um, we're going to need which DFU file we want to upload to the device. Um, and there's a couple here. This one is good from uh, up to 300 uh, megahertz. This one's good up to 800 megahertz. And uh, it is actually an antenna analyzer. CH is the... Um, the vector analyzer. I don't know what it's called CH, but um, AA is the uh, version of software written just for an antenna analyzer, so you might want to play with that. Uh, these are both uh, 800 megahertz. And then there's the 900 megahertz versions, uh, antenna analyzer, and, uh, and this one. This is the one that we're, gonna, we're going to load. And you'll also need this zip file, which has the uh, upload tools from uh, ST Micro. And then we can actually read a document, which is this. Uh, let me make sure it's viewable. Yeah, it's viewable. All right. Okay, we're going to need this, which is how to upgrade. So it tells you everything I'm going to be telling you here. Uh, it's saying, you know, get the software, run the software, you know. Um, and uh, it did the explanation here of the different versions. Um, and then you're going to need to um, short two pins together on the device that will put it into upload mode. Um, and uh, I'll insert a couple photographs here on how you do that. Um, there's these two pins. So there's a bunch of pins kind of on their own. And then there's two pins over to the side. And that's those two pins over to the side that you want to short together. Um, and then when you turn it on, it will go into a different mode and it will be viewable and uploadable. Um, and then uh, we need to check to see if the device loaded properly, you can go into your device manager and you can look for it under USB connections. It'll show as STM device in DFU mode. And so if everything looks fine, then you can run this program. So you need to um, get that zip file and uh, download uh, that software. And then you can run the DFSE demonstration program. And then uh, there's two ways to do things. There's upload and there's upgrade. We want to do an upgrade. We're going to choose the file we're going to use. And uh, you choose the uh, Nano 900AA or the whatever, um, which one you want to put in. And then you hit upgrade. And it should say successful. So I've never done this before. so. Uh, let's give it a try. Uh, let's go back. So like I said, we're going to need uh, this file so we know what to do. And we're going to need this file, which is our upload program. And we're going to use this file, which is the actual firmware itself. So, all right. Let's open up another window and we'll see if we can see the device. All right. Um, so we've uh, put the jumper wire on. Um, and uh, uh, hopefully you saw the picture of that. And we've turned it on. And it now is uh, showing up in our uh, program here as a, the upper left here, as a device in FDU mode. So we're ready to go. And uh, now we need to put in the file. Um, so we say choose. And we, I know you can't see this. It's another pop-up. So I've... Uh, it, it says, which file do you want? And I've chosen the file, and now it shows up here. So uh, now shows up as this file we're going to upload, which is uh, NanoVNA 900. 
Um, and uh, the very next thing we all have to do is just um, click Upgrade. And there's another little pop-up window that you can't see, but it says, uh, do you really want to do this? And say yes. And there we go. It is upgrading. Downloading phase. Upgrade successful. So we should have new firmware in our device. So the next thing we need to do is um, turn off the device, take off the jumper wire, turn the device back on, and calibrate. All right, uh, so I uh, disconnected the jumper. I turned the device back on, and I calibrated it. And now I've hooked it up to the uh, COM port again. And so we're looking at it here. And we have the help file. So let's type in info. And oh, there we go. So we have a uh, new firmware. So August 2, 2019. And that's the file that we uploaded. So it does take the uh, date of the file that you have. So we have uh, newer software in it now. And uh, it seems to work. Uh, I don't know what's different about it, but <laughs> it's updated. It's uh, updated. And uh, so does it say anything? different. I don't know if it says anything different. I don't think so. Um, somebody was asking about which uh, software it has inside of it. I don't really, I'm not a software guy. Uh, I think if you look up uh, a GCC compiler, I think it will talk to you about what tools it has. I think it does have a real-time library. Uh, this, thing, this thing does use the real-time library. And uh, I don't know if it's Linux or some something special just for the ARM processor. It is an ARM 6 processor inside. Um, and it is a variant of the ARM processor. It has a different core variant. So you can look you can look that up too if you're interested in the hardware. But anyway, it's up and running now. And we have uh, successfully upgraded our Nano. Excellent.